My name is Tom LaFond. I'm a singer, songwriter, multi instrumentalist, and producer. All my friends are gone. Lawless is a concept album. It's meant to flow from song to song, and there's, there's themes in the lyrics. Uh, it's really inspired by the albums that were made in the 70s, bands like Pink Floyd, David Bowie. Co-producer and bassist Chris Dunn. He's one of my best friends, and we've been working on music together since we were kids. For months leading up to the recording process, we were making demos and bouncing ideas back and forth, and we actually ended up co-writing a few of the songs. I ended up bringing in most of the musicians that I had on my last record, The Moon Leans In. Uh, one of those musicians is Katie Mitchell, who's an exceptional vocalist. My favorite challenges in making this record was to create as much stereo width as we could. Um, rather than using tons of effects and tricks to do this, we went into the arrangement. We're using synthesizers and placing them everywhere in the stereo field. I'm really excited about the artwork for Lawless. It was created by Gwen Parasek, who's a fantastic painter who lives on the East Coast. And uh, within a few days of throwing ideas back and forth, uh, she sent me some sketches. The album is really inspired by a French film uh, called La Planète Sauvage. She kind of took that idea of like 70s, hand-painted, alien sci-fi, and really ran with it. Another key member of this team is Amy Peltatilla. She's an extraordinary violinist. Uh, she plays the six-string violin, which covers the range of the violin, as well as most of the range of a cello. When I was building the production schedule for Lawless, I was going to play the drums and bring in Chris Duffy to lock in on the bass so that we'd have a core rhythm section that was recorded live. Then I sort of got tempted with the idea of bringing in some really talented drummers so that we could all play as a trio. One of them being Forrest Kelly, who plays open-handed and has his own style and Michelle Petrofetta, who is a powerhouse of a drummer. We have such a good musical report. We've been touring together and playing music together for the last six years. This album would not exist without engineer Jay Elliott. Jay Elliott was there every moment. This album tells the story of a romance between a human and an alien. While walking through the forest at night, the human encounters a magnificent, shimmering creature. The human's immediate infatuation intrigues the visitor, and the two make a pact to love and protect each other. The initiation phase is blindingly beautiful. The toils and tribulations of an unconventional love begin to haunt the characters as the world casts shadows on them. The time spent in hiding offers a glimpse into the alien's violent side, and in a swift decision, Alien abducts the human, promising eternal life in space. The trust is now broken. The human obsessively looks over their shoulder, constantly questioning their sense of safety. Life on the spacecraft is cold, mechanical, and lifeless. New 
newfound immortality feels more like a curse than a blessing as lifetimes on earth pass by. Transfixed by greed, the human mourns for the friends and family they left behind. Jealousy overtakes the owl, and they direct their anger to a place that has stolen their lover's attention. In a fit of rage, the alien obliterates the it's earth, just silencing the heartbeat of the planet. The human is left floating in the nothingness of space eternal. When the smoke clears, there's a bright light trailing off into the distance. The alien is not dead, they've just moved on. I just want to give a huge thank you to PS Audio, to Octave Records, Jessica, Paul, and Gus, who's an incredible mastering engineer.